So I'm going to try and like just get right into this because I don't want this to be like a 30 minute long video. So I have a list on my phone and let's talk about how I potty trained my 18 month old in three days. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting to be able to say that. Okay, so Amberlynn is 18 months old. She'll be 19 months in the middle of July. And it is, I did it over July 4th weekend. Or week. First thing I would have to say is like prep. Months in advance, we did where we were talking about, you pee peed in your diaper. Okay, let's change your diaper. Oh, you pooped in your diaper. Okay, let's change your diaper. You know, we talked about the actions that had happened and what they were because I feel like coming into potty training, if I say pee or poop, she's not going to actually know exactly what I'm doing because I've never talked to her about that. Like, we just don't talk about that in this household. So we talked a lot about pee and poop for the first, like, two months. And then... Another big prep thing is you got to watch your kids' cues. Are they pulling at their diaper? Are they telling you when they pee or poop? Ambie started doing all of this when I started talking about it. So I feel like I honestly could have potty trained her earlier if I would have started talking about all of it earlier. So that's a whole nother video. But so she had started pulling at her diaper. She had started telling me when she peed or pooped. Um, she wasn't quite telling me to change her or anything like that. She wasn't complaining at it. She just knew it was there and she was pulling at it. So that Monday, I cracked down. That Sunday night, we went in and we got all the prep. I already had ordered all the panties. Oh my goodness. Probably about 20 panties. And I honestly hardly think I might need a little more. Because I want to have like little stashes everywhere of like an extra pair of pants and an extra panty. I did that with my diapers. I had like three or four diapers in my car. I had some, a bag already packed ready to go to grandma's house, you know, like play clothes and stuff. And then I have my diaper bag and her room and everything. I feel like I need a little bit more, but that's a whole nother story. So I had about 15 or 20 panties, and I did get some of the training pant kind. Let me go get those. Okay, so we got a couple different kinds. This is her old diaper bin. So we just went ahead and took the diapers out, got rid of all the diapers. We, I did hide a couple because we've done Honest Company. So... I kind of was just in the mindset of, I've done Honest Company since the very beginning. I'm going to do Honest Company all the way to the end. So she has a Dutch door in her room because we have a bulldog and he doesn't realize how heavy he is and he wants to snuggle with her. So we block him out of her room. Well, she's not tall enough yet to mess with the door handle. So I'm going to take potty training at night a whole nother time. So, because there's no point in me trying to potty train her at night if she can't open her door to go to the bathroom. So, we're doing pull-ups at night. We've got the Honest Company kind. So, we got, these are her favorites. They're little deers. And then, we got these kind that have, they're thicker, they're foamier. These bad boys absorb a lot. I was really shocked. And then I got these that were supposed to be thicker, and I mean, they are... But no, nowhere near absorbent as these. So we got a bunch of just the standard ones. These are super cute because they have matching tank tops that go with them. And she runs around in these and they're super darn cute. But so those are the underwears I chose. I picked them all up off of Amazon. Um, I could link. I need to just make a list and then link the list down below. So I'll try and link as much as I can. But on the prep, I think I got my train thought back. Let's hope. I got mom brain, something fierce. We, I made sure to make it to where we had nothing going on in the week. So it just so happened that um, our Kingdom Hall, our meetings was rescheduled due to convention. So conventions this weekend, we're not going to ours. We're going to my old halls. That's a whole nother topic. But Either way, we had Wednesday night free. 
super excited about that because I didn't have to worry about her going potty in the chairs. So we made sure the week was free. We went to Walmart. Oh man, did we go to Walmart. I got spray Clorox. I had already had Clorox wipes. I really didn't use those as much. I just used spray Clorox and paper towels. And then I got M&Ms for, she got one M&M every time she sat in the potty, whether she peed, she pooped, she did anything, didn't matter. She, her thought process was to sit on the potty. She didn't fight me, so she got an M&M. We got Dum Dums and we got marshmallows. Marshmallows were her poop treat. She loved marshmallows. Dum Dums, she used to think they were cool. Now she could care less. So the Dum Dums are hidden in their mommy stash for when mommy wants a hidden candy. But what else did we do for prep? I need to get my handy dandy list out. Um, don't know if I already mentioned this or not, but we got potty chairs. I got the Baby Bajorn potty chair off of Amazon. I stink and love that one because it has a higher back and I'll explain to you why it worked well for her. And then we got um, a potty, just a knockoff potty seat off Amazon that she's actually had since she was about six months old. She's been going on the potty since about six months old, very randomly. Um, but that one goes on the actual toilet. And then let's see. Oh, and then you need to have like fun activities for the potty. So for us, our fun activities were the tablet, which I mean, every little kid loves it, books, and fingernail painting. She loved that. So now to getting to like Monday and Tuesday. Monday and Tuesday kind of seemed like very similar days. I kind of felt like I was failing. I felt like I wasn't succeeding and I made the mistake of posting on one of my mommy pages about hey I'm probably training my 18 month old do you, anybody have any tips or tricks here's the issues I'm having la di da di da I got so many stinking either private messages or actual posts on there saying you're doing it too early you shouldn't be doing it now you should be waiting for when your child is actually ready well me as mommy brain was saying my kid's actually ready. That's why my gut is saying to potty train her right now. So I'm going to stick with it. But by the end of the day, those words, they were, they were eating at my head. I was second guessing myself. And so I told myself, I watched, um, Katie on the flip sides video from Colin and Katie. I watched her video of how she potty trained gains and she potty, she said she potty trained in about five days. And in five days, today is our fifth day. And I can officially say she's trained. Like there's, we haven't had a single accident where we're in the same panties and we wore the same panties for most of the day yesterday. And the only accident that she had yesterday was because we're learning when she's telling us, like how she's telling us, because we do have a verbal barrier there because she is only 18 months old and she's not voicing it way a two year old would voice it. So, Monday was we woke up her diaper was cold she had potty did the night but she didn't pee in the morning so we ran her to the potty and she actually went and that felt like okay mom you're doing the right thing it's time to potty train her so we went we explained the panties we showed her them we were excited about them she was so excited about these silly cute little deers on her panties she has a pair that i think she's wearing actually right now that have the little deer and the bunny all over them and they are her favorite they came in a three pack they're on amazon if your kid loves deer at all like little woodland animals that's my kid she loves deers she loves little animals she loves all of it so she was so excited and I was telling her, you gotta keep them dry. You gotta keep them dry. And I think she understood, but I really, sometimes I felt like she didn't. 
So we just made it to where like pottying was fun. But then she started to get to where like she was freaking out on the potty. She didn't want to sit on the potty and I knew she had to go. She had gone two hours completely dry, been chugging the Capri Suns. I don't let my kid have Capri Suns like ever. But I let her have them this week so that we could get the juices flowing. So <laughs> she was chugging those. I knew she had to go and she just wasn't. She was scared. So we ended up with that baby Bajoran potty seat in the middle of my lap on the floor. My legs were wrapped around her, holding her. And that baby Bajoran potty seat has like a back on it, like this tall. It's actually really, I like it. So I felt like she felt like safe. Like I was wrapping my arms around her. She felt safe. She was holding onto her tablet. She was watching her movies and stuff. And she went. And I made the mistake of going hip hip hooray too early. <laughs> and I caused her to like Ooh! cut it off and she didn't finish. And then like three minutes later she had a potty. So there was a lot of learning her cues. And that is just like as a mom you've got to learn them plain and simple. And I'm a stay at home mom. I'm with my kid all the time. I know my kid better than I feel like anyone in this world knows her. And I feel like we got so much closer over this potty training um, week because I didn't focus on the dishes. I didn't focus on the laundry. I didn't focus on the fans needing to be dusted. You know, just the stupid mom stuff that you need to do. And I didn't focus on any of that. And yeah, my house suffered. But I cleaned it up at night whenever she went to bed. But she, I focused on her. Like, solely on her. And I figured out her timing. I figured out when she needed to go. We tried the timer. The timer freaked her out. So we didn't do the timer. We did the timer twice and then I was just done. So I have a Fitbit Versa. I did set an alarm for every hour. And then I try and take her like in the middle of that. But now that she's doing good, we just go once an hour and we're good. We go. Um, so Monday and Tuesday was a million accidents. And I feel like this video is all over the place. So if you're hanging in there with me still, you guys are awesome. You're just awesome. I just had to say it. Okay. So Monday and Tuesday was accidents after accidents after accidents. I used probably a whole roll of paper towels. Um, and then wet Tuesday night, Tuesday's when I posted on Facebook, Tuesday night, I was an emotional mess. I felt like I was expecting too much out of my daughter. I was having the first mom issue where like I was expecting a lot out of her. And then I just had to nip that all in the butt and I got myself back together and I was like, you know what? We're giving this a week, a full week. And that next day it clicked. We went potty in the morning. We went potty the next hour and the next hour and the next hour. And I was like, it's stinking clicked. It's worked. I was so excited. So on Wednesday, what I feel like worked was I did not let her have her tablet. I didn't let her have her book. I didn't let her have any of that. I told her that she wasn't allowed to have that until she went pee-pee. We had gotten comfortable with the potty. She loved the potty. We got used to it for the two days. You know, it was something fun. Now, okay, it's crackdown time. I looked at her and she'd look at her tablet that was sitting on the counter and she I hadn't gotten putting it up yet and she wanted it and I told her I was like we can't have that until we go pee pee I said go pee pee first and then and then you can have your tablet and she looks at me she looks at the floor and she, she goes and she's so proud of herself hi remember and I was like okay Maybe this is how it works. It needs to go. 
And then all of a sudden she starts pointing at the treats. I had all the treats on a line on top of our fridge. She could see them, but she couldn't reach them. That was the big thing. She can reach over the top of our counters and stuff. If you hear anything, it's my bulldog. He's being needy right now. So she pointed to the top of the fridge and I was like, do you need to go? And she'd be like, yeah. All right, let's go. And we pooped in the potty. I was like, holy crap okay it's really quick now and I gave her 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 um, treat and then from there that was her way of telling me that she needed to go and so now when she goes to point at the fridge I ask her do you need to go pee pee and she's trying to say the word pee pee she says butt butt but she doesn't say pee pee so she now is telling me when she needs to go but I'm also taking her once every hour so I think the big thing was we got had fun with the potty we played with the potty we did all of that and then it became kind of cracked down time and that's how Ambi kind of works um to be able to like go outside that was our first thing that one of the first things that I did she wanted to go outside and go play in the morning because we play in the morning and then we'll play in the evening outside during the middle of the day it's so darn hot here in Missouri and so humid that it's just oh it's uncomfortable so she wanted to go outside I said we can't go outside until we go pee pee on the potty and she looks at me and she goes okay it just runs off to the bathroom and goes so it, that's how her little brain works. If she wants to go outside, she knows she has to grab her shoes. She knows she has to get dressed. She knows she has to do other things. And that's just teaching her the responsibility of everything. Another big thing that I got for traveling is I have a potty seat in the back of my Suburban that has a lid because little girls can't get on the side of the road and go whip it out. And at 18 months, I'm going to have a really hard time teaching her how to squat and pee without soaking shoes. So we got a little potty seat in the back and I also got a fold up potty chair for my diaper bag and that has already come in handy. We used that at a restaurant the other day. So I would say those are my necessities. I really hope you guys understood this video. If you guys have any questions just let me know. I'm really it's really hard for me to get everything I should have I should have made a better list. This I actually should have looked at my list but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have any questions or concerns just leave a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can like this video for me if you did enjoy it and if you did learn any tips um, if you guys have any funky things that work for your kid leave a comment down below because I know for a fact that there will be other moms there and all of us moms can be chit chatting so I love hearing from you guys. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe, hit that bell so that you guys get a notification for whenever I post my next video and you guys have a good day. Goodbye.